Hi students, welcome to our innovation. In this channel, 8th standard social science unit 1 history book evaluation part 2. So already part 1, Roman letter 1 to Roman letter 6. Now we will see the Roman letter 7 detail answer. Roman letter 7 answer the following in detail. Give an account of the sources of modern India. Here under the heading sources of modern India you can mark it from here. You can mark it from here. Sources na inna sao namalikki yedu mooliyama namalikki oru evidences ilang kedekkidu. So what are the sources? The sources for the history of modern India helps us to know the political, socio, economic and the cultural development in the country. So namalikki political, we will know about the political and socio economics and Cultural development pati elame namalakka theriyo. So the Portuguese, the, you can mark again from here. The Portuguese, the Dutch, the French and the Dans and the English recorded their official transaction in India on the state paper. So even elame when the trade panna kuriyadu kana evidences, proofs elame irukku. Okay. So then next point some of the sources so kinds of this is the first heading the sources of india the first introduction you in the points two point then kinds of sources the heading the kinds of sources are written sources and material sources these help us to know about the history okay so, you can write it Written sources, heading photo, you can mark from here till end of this. Okay. So, written format is sources. The advent of printing presses. Numerous books were published in different languages. People began to acquire the knowledge easily in the fields like art, literature, history and science. So, so written scripts are written written sources. Ingerinda, idu varikku mark panikanga under the heading written sources. Then you can write as an another heading archives. Okay, archives is the place where the historical documents are preserved. So historical documents are irka kuri on the archives. So this whole paragraph you need to write. Ingerinda, idu varikku lade kanga. That is a, 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 the national archive. It is in New Delhi. The chief storehouse of the records of the government. So, government or records in the archives. The main sources of understanding the past administrative missionaries as well as a guide to present and future generations. So, archives preserve and the things it will help them it gives an evidence and it will help for the future generation also so it what are they so angela enna evidences it is for knowing about so before that during the historic so the political political socio social economic cultural and scientific lives and activities of the people of india it will be there in the archives this NAI is the one of the largest archives in Asia. Okay. Mark it from here and end of this. Next heading you want to write as material source. So in the first detail can you paragraph quote paragraph wise heading quote. So since you are going to write detail. So material source when you are writing material source you have to mark it from here. the mark So material sources la inna la varuna painting, sculpture, statues idellame varu. Okay. Many paintings and the statues are the main sources of modern history they give a lot of information and the achievements of the national leaders and historical personalities historical buildings okay historical buildings and all it gives us a, about our uh, past okay historical buildings like saint francis church at cochin and saint louis fort at pondicherry saint george fort in madras and saint david fort in Kudalur, India Gate, the Parliament House, President House in New Delhi, etc. are different styles and techniques of Indian architecture. Other objects and materials of religious, cultural, historical values are collected and preserved in the museum. So, this is historical events are preserved preserve the museum. Okay, museum la nama pakala. These museums to preserve and promote our cultural heritage. Okay. 
then coins are good source to know about the administrative history and the first coinage in modern india under the crown was issued in 1862 so idu varaikku neenga first detail ku note panikanga na ipo sonna mari eduthu neenga paragraph form panni eludhikonga so in the paragraph so material sources under the material sources and the many paintings lende idu varaikku neenga copy panikalam now let us we go to the second detail how did the portuguese establish their trading centers in india in ad that is see that uh, 1498 vasco da gama reached calicut where he was cordially received by the king zamorin the ruler of the calicut so you had to start from here ingirundu avanga yaar yaar vandanga apdin eludhana you had to mark from here until end of this till here cochin varai keladikonga then you can put in the idukku vanda first one ninga vasco da gama and heading potukonga second one you write this heading okay francisco de almeida that is market from here until end of it from here sultans of bijapur lende idu varaikku mark panikonga alfonso de albuquerque heading you write this heading and start from here inga rendu idu varaikku eludikonga up to persian gulf then ino de chunha mark it from here from here and up to here then the next paragraph start from here and end of the so idu varaikku ninga correct ah eduthu mark panni paragraphs pottu eduthikonga write the sub headings of the traders okay third detail how did british establish their trading centers in india third detail you mark it from here okay and end of this okay british how did they made trade so idra ninga some points ungalku important points ah ninga select panni eludhikonga so start from here until end of this this is the third detail okay students indha video ungalku useful ah irukku nenikira r innovation channel ah idhu varaikku ninga subscribe pannaam irundinga marakama subscribe pannikonga thanks for watching our video thank you have a nice day